There is no turning back. We are going to Haiti. President William Ruto has tonight affirmed the country's commitment to deploy police officers to Haiti to combat gangs wreaking havoc in the troubled nation. Well, President Ruto, who spoke amidst concerns that the decision overlooks internal security challenges, gave an assurance that the move was informed by a balance of the country's security priorities and capabilities. Now, according to the head of state, Kenya is better placed to lead the multinational security support mission due to its exemplary track record in efforts to pursue regional and global peace and stability. Serfin Acheng Oma reports. The spike in gang-related violence in Haiti continues to arouse global concern. Thousands of residents in the Caribbean nation have been displaced from their homes with tens of thousands of children forced to miss school at the heart of deadly violence that has also seen cases of homicide and kidnappings reported. While addressing the press after presiding over the celebrations to mark the 12th Kenya Defense Forces Day on Saturday, President William Ruto affirmed that Kenya was committed to help stop the untold suffering of the people of Haiti. We cannot walk away from the men, the women, and the children in Haiti. It is a call of duty. It is in solidarity with humanity. It is in solidarity with our own flesh and blood. Haiti is not far. Haiti is our business. President Ruto took his time to respond to those downplaying Kenya's involvement in the Haitian security situation, dismissing claims that the move would compromise local security challenges and capabilities. The deployment of the National Police Service to Haiti is informed by a careful balance of our national security priorities and capabilities, aided by a comprehensive analysis of the evolving security situation. The head of state also clarified that the mission in Haiti has attracted continental support and Kenyan police officers will not be alone, adding that the UN Security Council's endorsement of Kenya to lead the mission was informed by the country's track record of success in peace and security missions. The choice of Kenya to provide this support was not by default. It wasn't through guesswork. Many countries identified us as a safe pair of hands, as a country with a rich history in peacekeeping, peacemaking, and peace operation. The decision for Kenya to send troops in Haiti has been marred with a lot of controversy and a lawyer had already gone to court seeking to stop the deployment, arguing that there had not been a cabinet decision on it and that parliament was being bypassed. Speaking separately in Tigania West constituency in Meru County, Interior Cabinet Secretary Professor Kithure Kindiki stated that the deployment will not take any legal shortcuts. The Security Council has already concluded the request and we are expecting the Houses of Parliament to debate the matter soberly, patriotically, and in the best interest of the country and give us an okay so that our officers can go with the full blessing of the people and the government of the Republic of Kenya. Kindiki further dismissed fears that the mission will compromise Kenya's homeland security. Kenya has enough security officers and what we want to improve on is the deployment and the skills, uh, uh, mixing of skills. The commitment by the head of state which was made at the 12th celebration of the Kenya Defense Forces Day sets the pace for the final preparations for the country to deploy officers from the National Police Service in what the head of state describes as the country's efforts to meet its regional and global obligation in pursuit of peace and stability. Safin Acheng Oma reporting for Citizen TV from the Embakasi Garrison in Nairobi.